All right. Ed and I are going to talk about the deadlift. All right, very basic, but a very good movement, good full body movement, more so emphasis on the core than the legs, as most people think. All right, so we're going to talk about setup real quick. All right, Ed's got his feet about shoulder width apart. I right, just going to kind of squat down a little bit. And he's got a grip right outside of his knees. Typically, that's about a clean grip. All right, notice his back is nice and flat. He's pulling those shoulders back, right? Big chest. He's got tension all through his hips. All right, let's see good, two good pulls. Good. All right, now I want to talk about bar path. Bar path is going to stay nice and close to his legs. Typically, if you're doing them right, you're going to scrape up and down your legs the whole time. All right, but you don't have to do that, but that's just the idea. All right, so he's got a good bar path, real close to his body the whole time. If it gets too far out in front of him, it's going to pull him forward, and he's going to miss those heavy lifts. All right, so go ahead and get set up again. A couple things we want to be aware of is rounding the back. When someone starts to pull, they round their back. They don't have everything nice and engaged, and this could be a uh, cause for injury. All right, so you want to make sure you keep a nice flat back. Another fault we see is the hips coming up first. All right, so he kind of pushes his knees back. That'll also drive the bar away from the body. And then you're doing that little kind of stripper pull type thing. All right, so everything is moving in unison. He keeps a good angle until he reaches his knees. And then he just stands up with it. So let me see two more good reps, please. Good. That's the deadlift.